History repeats itself geologically, volcano apocalypse, and how mega eruptions again in the future could blot out the sun in our skies, causing a volcanic or a nuclear winter. Sean Martin Express UK reports the major volcanic eruption that could plunge Earth into a deeper winter for decades. It would lead to global food shortages, putting humanity at risk on the brink of destruction, on the brink of extinction. This is what an expert has warned. It's happened in the past, for example, with the Toba eruption 74,000 years ago. That was devastating. Terrifying scenario already played out in the once in the past. According to a terrifying theory, the Toba super eruption of 74,000 years ago, it plunged the world into a global winter which lasted for decades and it's, it was likely the most devastating eruption in the human race that we've ever experienced. When Toba, which is located in Sumatra, Indonesia, erupted 2,800 cubic kilometers of material ejected into the atmosphere. I mean, we could see, you'll see the uh, video I just posted before this one having to do with the red blood skies of Indonesia because of the forest fires. You could understand how the sun is blocked out by even forest fires, let alone volcanic ash clouds. For decades, decades, he says this caused an ash cloud to spread across the globe, causing temperatures to drop by 5 degrees Celsius for 10 years. According to geologist Michael Rampino, volcanologist Stephen Self as well, while temperatures began to slowly pick up, it's believed the eruption could have caused a dip in temperature lasting up to 1,000 years. In 1993, science journalist Ann Gibbons theorized the eruption caused a population bottleneck, with the population massively diminished for a period of time due to an environmental event. Now experts are warning that this could, of course, happen again. Brian Walsh, author of the new book, End Times, it looks at the existential threats which plague our planet. He believes Toba could one day erupt again and it will not be good news for us. Walsh writes, what happened after Toba could happen again. Ash and sulfur from a super eruption would reach the stratosphere and depending on the location of the volcano and its strength, it could spread across the globe blocking incoming sunlight casting the world into a winter. A megavolcano eruption on this scale could lead to global food shortages and have catastrophic consequences, as we can understand. In 2005, a team of British scientists released a research paper titled Super Eruptions, Global Effects, and Future Threats. Okay, this is not something that is not... We're not fear-mongering. These are scientists coming out with what would happen if such things happened in the future and what it would mean for mankind. The study details the consequences of a Toba eruption, not just Toba, any super eruption of the size. They say it is easy to imagine that an eruption on the scale of Toba would have devastated, devastating global effects. A layer of ash estimated at 15 centimeters thick fell over the entire Indian subcontinent with similar amounts over much of Southeast Asia. Most recently, Toba ash has been found in the South China Sea. That implies that several centimeters also covered southern China. Just one centimeter of ash is enough to devastate agricultural activity, at least when it falls in the growing season. You know why? Because it's got glass in it, plus toxic uh, gases and minerals. An eruption of this side, size would have catastrophic consequences. Many millions of lives throughout most of Asia would have been threatened if Toba erupted today. The UK might not receive any ash fall directly, but it would be affected by the impact on global economy and political stability, as well as by worldwide climactic effects. But the study does say a super eruption such as Toba will only impact the Earth every 100,000 years or so. This is what they estimate. From a previous article and video we had on this, 
the anthropologist said that there were only 1,000 couples, one, about 2,000 people that had survived this bottlenecking. It was almost a complete annihilation of the human race. 74,000 years ago, very few humans survived. It's unbelievable what happened. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.